Morning again, floppers. Hope you're all okay. Or floppets. What would you prefer to be called? Or everyone. Morning, everyone. Morning, floppers or morning floppets. But anyway, let's crack on because I've literally got 10 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. So with the little break I have today, I decided to sit down, have a quick cup of coffee, rest my neck because it's blooming killing me today and uh, see if I've missed out on everything. And it looks like I did. I missed Bark Jack's tweet. So this was from the 10th of October 2022. I would have loved to have been at this dinner party, wouldn't you? Because I'm sorry. Sometimes I feel the need to do things, feel the need to say things. And sometimes, yes, I do get myself in trouble because it just flows out, Mum. I have no filter, you see. I have no filter whatsoever. And sometimes it just comes out. For example, my last neighbour from hell who, who rightly got evicted because she terrorised the whole block. Um, when she, before she started getting really bad, right? I look back now and I really laugh at actually. At the time I felt really, really bad, but now I really, really laugh. Now, when she went before she started getting really bad, she um I used to give her a lift to her sisters just down the road. And uh we all got on well, you know, quite well, you know. I sense that there is a bit of a um, an oddness about this neighbour from hell but I couldn't put my finger on it so I was just you know polite helpful um, you know and she she bought me a birthday present a uh, Leah something and you, you know when she could she used to pay me for the petrol uh, but you know it's only down the road so it, it didn't bother me but at least I can say she tried you know so I thought well she can't be that bad <laughs> how wrong was I anyway got to know her sister quite well and uh, one day we popped round there and uh, because we were going to go to the pub and she was there with her partner and uh, for some reason, for some reason, <laughs> I walked in the door and uh, the, the bad neighbour said, all right, sis, whatever. And I said, all right, you look like a skunk. <laughs> she... Those were the days when it was fashionable to have your hair, I think it was dark underneath and platinum and white on top. So when you put, when girls put their hair up, they looked like skunks and it just flowed out my mouth and I couldn't control it. I just, that's the sort of trouble. Now, really, rightly, she should have given me a slap in the face. And a few minutes later, I thought she was going to do it. So I was getting myself prepared. But she didn't. She just looked really upset and pulled her hair out and I felt so bad. I said, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it to come out like that. I, and like I explained, like, and she just started really, really laughing <laughs> about half an hour later, that that was. But um, I felt so bad. So this is the problem I have. I have no filter. I'm, try, I'm trying my best and um, I might try and get some help with that from a, I don't know if there's anyone that does therapy in that area, you know, but um, I, I I do need to try. It's like I've got Tourette's, if you like. It just comes out. No, Tourette's is much more worse, isn't it? Um, I don't know what you call that, just no filter, really. So, yeah, but I would have loved to have been at this, at this dinner dinner party I really would have loved to have been there because knowing me the right things at the right time would have flowed out of my mouth without any control and I would have happily finished my drink and walked out I would have said I would have said to her do you always always humiliate your husband like this or is it just in front of people so that you can show off now, to be quite honest with you, if anyone else, and when she has dinner parties and this is the, the conversation, then hopefully she'll start to lose people very, very quickly. And more people will start speaking out because one guest, as you can see, one guest 
spoke, told Bark Jack about this. Now, Mr. Overseas probably laughed along with them. Probably thought, if I laugh, they might, you know, they, they might like me. They might actually think it's an actual joke, but it wasn't. And they knew it. He knew it deep down. And her, getting more money. Yes, only because you married a Prince of England, dear. Oh, goodness. And plus, of course you're going to get more money. Because you're an easy lay, aren't you, Mrs. Overseas? You'd lay down on the bed for absolutely everything. And I'll tell you another thing. She probably has his money all in her all in her name or something like that and gives him 10 bucks a week to live on. That's the sort of person. You know, and I wouldn't be surprised if she also tries to get a conservative ship out on him soon. I think that's what she's heading for. Because when you see him, he just looks out of it all the time, doesn't he? I swear to God. I swear to God, I think my opinion, public domain, she's drugging him. Because she wants complete full control. I don't think she even wants him having any friends. Well, narcissists don't, do they? I don't think she'll even want him going on bike rides, even if it's just round the garden. I think she'll eventually want to just keep him locked up at arm's length so that she can keep an eye. Because when she really does start to get really, really evil, and it will probably be the time when he starts to say no to something, that's when she'll want to, you know, really expose the devil in her to him. Because he's not really seeing much at the minute. He's probably just thinking, oh, for God's sake, what have I done? Why did I have to marry that control freak? At the moment... He's just seeing her as a control freak. He's not seeing the depth of her narcissism. But other people are. So I really do hope they are advising him somehow, some may like some sort of Morse code across the dinner table or something, or in phone conversations, or I don't know. He, I, he might have to start writing letters, because I bet she nicks his phone. I mean, we heard the other day, didn't we, that... Um, Oh, what was it? The staff. Oh, she confiscates uh, staff's phones. <laughs> wow. That's, that should be illegal, that should, to be quite honest with you. I can understand in schools. I can understand in a proper company. But mind you, I don't, I don't personally know of any proper company, apart from food, that confiscates phones. Or they're put in one place and you're allowed to um, go go to them. Because what about if one of the staff was a mum or a nan and they had an emergency phone call from the school? She wouldn't answer it, would she? Well, she probably wouldn't say, so she's busy. You know, your, your kid's not important. Your slaving over me is. That's the sort of attitude she has. And to be quite honest with you, I would. I would tell her. And this is what annoys me. Why is people like this so hard to reach? Maybe I should just pop down to Windsor that day because I would have told her I don't care if I would have got arrested. I would have told her straight out. Politely, obviously. I wouldn't have had any filter that day. I'd purposely not have any filter that day. But anyway, guys, thank you for listening to my rant of the day. Hope you're all okay. Let me know your thoughts. And let's hope more people speak up about this when she has her dinner parties because then... Because then she might realise that people are on to her. Because she knows people are on to her, but she thinks she can keep getting away with it. Well, so far she has, hasn't she? Oh, and another thing, just quickly. Uh, when I mentioned um, the other video I'd done the other day about, what was it? Oh, about Cruella debunking Valentine Lowe's book. Yeah, I forgot to mention in the video. Sorry, guys. She already knows what's in the book. She knows what she's done. And plus, over the last year or year or so, um, with little snippets um, in Valentine Lowe's interviews on TV, um, he's he's mentioned a couple of bits. So she's trying to get in there first, really. So she already knows what's coming. She's you know she's she knows what she's done. She knows what she's said to people, and. Um, Oh, sorry, I've gone blank. But anyway, I'm off now, guys. But thanks for watching, everyone. 
See you soon.